Hi and welcome back. Just a quick one today. I wanted to give you a bit of a pen swatch test on the paper that's in the new Kiki K um, B6 planner. So in the back of my notes section I've just kept some of the blank paper that comes in the planner. So I thought I would just use the blank paper. I don't really know if I'm going to use as much of this paper as I would of the lined and the grid, so that's why I'm using it for the test. Um, but we'll see as time goes on. And you can buy it separately, which is nice as well. So it's exactly the same as the grid paper, the lined paper, and the monthly and weekly spreads that you get in the planner. It's 120 GSM and very, very, very nice. So I've got a selection of pens here that I thought I would just try out. So I'm going to start with my Sharpie Ultra Fine Point, which I've already been using in this planner anyway. So I'll just be quite simple, I think, with my writing. So it's a Sharpie Ultra Fine. Okay, so I didn't expect that. We've got a little tiny bit of bleed through there. I do kind of press slightly hard, I guess. Um, so you can see it definitely ghosts and there is some bleed through. That's the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. I also have um, the Pentel Touch Pen. Let's have a look at this one. Much inkier pen. And that one has no ghosting, no bleed through at all. So I think the Sharpie, because it is such a fine point, it's really kind of pressing through that paper. All right, next up is the pen that I use most often, which is a Pigma Micron 01. I don't know, I just really love these pens. I think I like the amount of black in the ink. Um, I've got the O2 here as well, so I'll do that at the same time. And I like that it's super fine because I tend to um, try to fit a lot in. No ghosting, no bleed through. Beautiful pen. Next up, I have my little collection of um, the Pit Artist pens, and I have the full range here of the, um, well, the four pack, the um, Super Fine. So we'll just say Pit S. Um, Pit M. Sorry, that was F. Pit F, here's the M, Pit M, <laughs> and then the brush as well. Okay, let's have a look at those. So I can't see anything through when the paper is down flat. If I lift it up a little, I guess I can see a little bit of, tiny bit of ghosting from the brush pen but not from the others so that's pretty good um, all right so what I've got next is my little collection of Stabler well part of my collection of Stabler uh, Tripos fine liners I've got tons of these but I've got the black one here because it's probably the most common I guess um, I'm just gonna write fine liner and um, I've got the pastels here. I'll take what I think is the darkest of the pastel, which is, which is this um, kind of teal one. And I'm pressing pretty hard at this point. So let's see what happens. No ghosting, no bleed through. Maybe just a, t oh no, let me see here. No, no ghosting, no bleed through. So that's good. <laughs> Um, all right, let's try the Tombos. I've just got a couple of Tombos here. Um, black, of course, because it's pretty common. I'll just write Tombow with the, with the um, fine end and then... That's a pretty hefty swatch, don't you think? I'll do the same with this red. Oh, my red is getting a bit dry. And the pink. And again, I'm not being careful here. I'm really quite um, heavy handed. 
All right, surprisingly, the black hasn't come through so much. The red definitely is ghosting through. Um, yeah, just ghosting, I guess. It's almost bleeding through there, but not quite. So, yeah, the red's a bit strong, I find. It might be because it was so dry, whereas the black is a bit kind of inky, and maybe it just um, spreads out a lot more easily. All right, we'll switch things up and go to just kind of normal, everyday kind of pens. So this is my favorite Kiki K ballpoint. And again, if I don't have my Pigma Micron with me, then that's the pen that I use. And then this is, I think, um, a Kiki K gel, or the roll ball, I'm not quite sure. I've actually got something on the end of it here. Just wipe that off, a bit of paper. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. So this is a inkier pen. I don't know if it's a gel, I'm gonna write gel. I think it is. And then I have my Muji 0.25 gel pen. Such a fine pen. Wow, I should use that more often. That is really nice. Bit scratchy, I guess, but um, because it's so fine. And as expected, none of those bleed through this 120 GSM paper. All right, what have I got next? So I have the Tombow, um, the new colors. I'm not going to pronounce this properly. Let's see. Fudnosuke, the Tombow Fudnosuke um, brush pens. I love these pens. I haven't done a little video for you on these but um, they are fabulous let's see I adore them I really really love these so I'll do the pink because because why not you can see I'm just being quick I, I should really use them as the brush is intended. A um, little bit of ghosting on the black, but not the pink. Um, and it's very, very minor. But still, it does come through a little. All right, I'm going to get a fresh piece of paper. All right, so let's start with the Stabilo Pastel Pink. So I'll just do a stroke and then I'll do a double stroke. Um, I might just write Stibolo on there. And we definitely have ghosting and I think, you know, just a touch of bleed through at the end of the stroke as well. Very, very quite faint, but definitely there. Does not bode well for my Ecoline pens. Um, these are super inky. I adore them, but they are super inky. So that's the pink, and I've got my green one as well. Wow, such an inky pen. <laughs> Love them so much. Okay, not as bad as I thought. I really thought that that would seriously bleed through. Um, you can see the paper kind of, I don't know if you can see, but the paper kind of has buckled a little where that um, color is laid down so um, like a watercolor effect I guess you know it's because it's such a wet pen um, but there is some ghosting but no bleed through which I'm quite surprised by all right next up I have my Copic sketch um, I have this super pale pink you may not even catch it on on the camera this is typically, you know, these are um, alcohol-based pens, so they will definitely um, make your paper wet. So I've got over that a couple of strokes, and yeah, it definitely comes through. This is because it's wet, and I can feel that's very cold from the alcohol. So definitely a wet, wet pen. All right, last up, I have these two Zig um, brush pens. One is the brushables in pink, and then this this one is I can't pronounce him Furubiori Metallic. So it's a gold pen. I'm not even sure I've tried that pen yet. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. All right, so the brushables is a double-ended, but they're slightly different colors at each end, um, both brush. So I'll just do that with this end. Oh, much darker color, isn't it? That with that end. I better make myself a little note here. So Copic, Ecoline, and Zig brushable and no bleed through maybe a touch of ghosting it's just here if you can see I'll just hold it up a little it's just these two here so not really not really too bad actually so lastly oh no I have a couple more pens I can see on my desk here that I want to show you but lastly the the um, gold metallic Gold. That's very wet, very, very um, flexible brush. Oh, that's going to take some getting used to. But how nice is the gold? <laughs> that's pretty nice. Um, all right, so maybe a little bit of ghosting you can see through there. But if I was just running on it normally, I don't think I would notice that at all. So that's not too bad, but I've just noticed this little cup of pens here um, and I was wondering where my mild liners were and they are all here. So let's grab a couple of mild liners. I'll go the teal and the reddish pink. Um, do these have names? I think they have names. Maybe not. So let's try the reddish version first. It's kind of a pinky color, isn't it? And then the tealy one. And maybe a little note. Mild liners. And again, maybe just a touch of ghosting on the on this, what's that, the teal, but not really, I mean I wouldn't really worry about that at all. And you can see none of this has actually bled through, which is good. Okay, so that's my mild liners. Now the last thing, um, I think I did this on my stories ages ago when I first got these, but I probably haven't ever showed them on here on YouTube. These are the Kiki K markers. I can't remember what they're called, but they have cute little names on them. So this one says Peachy Keen, Pretty in Pink, Once in a Blue Moon, Here Comes the Sun, and The Grass is Always Greener. So they're quite a thick um, nib, as you can see, and they're really quite vibrant colours. So these bled through on normal Kiki K paper when I did, I did a little thing on my Insta stories. Why well, the blue is super vibrant, isn't it? Pretty colour. Pink. The pink is almost a neon pink. And orange. I will forget, so I'd better write down that these are Kiki K. Well, okay, seriously. <laughs> so these are quite vibrant markers and um, I, I guess I didn't, I didn't not expect that to happen. Um, all right, so they all bleed through, which is quite interesting. So that's really that, I guess. I just wanted to really quickly go through and see, well, show you, give you guys an idea of what you can expect from the paper in this Kiki K B6. Um, planner that they've just released, a planner inside a planner, um, and I think, you know, almost everything is fine um, out of the pens, um, just this one darker Tombow, the black was fine, but the red Tombow has come through, and my Sharpie Ultra Fine has come through. Now, I only use that Sharpie Ultra Fine pen on the vinyl stickers, because it's the only pen that, won't, that I can find that won't smudge on vinyl stickers. So um, that means I can use all of these other pens in this planner without an issue. 
and then out of these, really the, the Sticky K marker is the worst, um, but um, these guys, but all the others look good. I mean, even, so the Copic has dried. Let's have a look. The Copic was here at the second hole. So the Copic has dried and you can kind of see a bit of ghosting through there, but um, it's certainly no bleed anymore. And the others I think are all pretty much fine as well. Maybe that um, Stabilo highlighter at the top there is a bit funky, but the rest, I would be very happy with using the rest of them in here as well. Even these um, Eco lines, which I'm quite excited by, I really didn't think that they would, I thought they would bleed through for sure. And they haven't, so that's nice. I'm loving these Tombow Food Nasukis. They, they just, the colours look so nice on here. Um, if you want to see all of the colours, I'm happy to show you those as well. Just let me know. All right, that's it. I'm going to stop talking. So thank you so much for popping in and taking a look at the swatch test for those all those pens in this um, planner. I have to put all these pens away now. <laughs> so many pens. Okay, thanks guys. I appreciate you coming by again and thanks again for your support and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.